When I was younger, I really enjoyed playing video games with my brother, so we'd always set up our laptops right next to each other and just lay down on the floor and play together. I think I was always much better than him, but it was still fun competing with him, and still trying to be better. My parents, they always knew that I was playing games like all day. They always had to limit me when I was younger because I would just play from the time I got home from school until I went to bed, so they already accepted gaming as like a, a possible career, I guess. When I was in high school, I'd wake up kind of early and I'd watch uh, GSL or Pro League or whatever was on in the morning right before school. And then I'd go to school, go throughout the day. I'd generally sleep like the first period or something. And I'd try to do all my homework in school. So when I got home at like 2.30 or so, I'd just play StarCraft and try to get better. Neeb is a part of a new generation of StarCraft II players. He's just 19 years old and when the game came out, was just merely 12. There are a couple of other players like him as well from Europe, but Neeb stands out because it's the first time for me to see since 2011 the American crowd get passionate and excited around a player. This hasn't happened in so many years and it's a breath of fresh air. The first tournament I watched in 2010, I was hooked because the whole esports side was amazing to me. I really wanted to play StarCraft and I also liked the 1v1 aspect of it since I was always a more independent person. I liked having the wins and losses completely based on whether I was playing good or not. These days, uh, I'm a much better learner. Like I look at the game in a good way, I think, and I have a pretty good mindset, so I can always like come up with good strategies or show good games in tournaments and prepare well. When I'm in a tournament game, I'm pretty good at blocking out all other thoughts, but sometimes like, I'll think about, like, oh, my parents are probably watching right now at home, or my brother's watching, and it's just pretty cool, but it doesn't really affect my gameplay at all. But I think you need a mix of natural talent and practice. Like, you really need to have the motivation somewhere, and then you need to put that into effect with like, a strong work ethic, and you need to be naturally talented so that it takes you somewhere. What Neeb achieved in 2016 in the Kespa Cup Finals, being the first non-Korean StarCraft II pro gamer to win a tournament in Korea, and also be the first repeated winner overall in StarCraft in 16 years, that won't only go down in the history of StarCraft, but the history of esports. It really felt like all my work was paying off. Like, I would always update my Twitter and it'd be full of notifications, full of people congratulating me. So it felt really good to finally win and for it to be a big Korean tournament like that. I'm really happy to be at BlizzCon again because last year it was a lot of fun. Like It's like two weeks long and you're kind of just hanging out with the other players all the time. So it's like a vacation along with the tournament. You can actually see how the foreigners match up against the Koreans because you get the best Koreans and the best foreigners from that year. So I'm just really happy to be there again. One of the nicest things about competing in StarCraft for me is the friendships that I make. I think I've met so many cool people over the years that it's been a big opportunity for me. I really like to work on myself and I like to try to be the best person that I can be. So StarCraft kind of lines up with all my life goals, I guess. So I think of working on StarCraft as working on myself.